Ahoy! This is Chris Pinion, creator of Clear the Decks, and you're watching Pirates Parlay. Ahoy there, big spenders! We are thinking about Kickstarter today, and it's got our wallets a-twitching. In fact, a few of our past pledges should be shipping soon. Clear the Decks is almost ready to go, as is Skull Tales Full Sail and Batman Gotham City Chronicles. Yeah, we're gonna be pretty busy this year. Let's take a moment anyway to look at a few things up on Kickstarter right now that may be of interest to you. Because let's face it, most of us shall never taste the phrase, I have enough board games. First up is Sea Rovers, a historically aware experience designed around a decade ago and finally ready for your consideration. We've not played this one yet, but many original handmade copies are still out there, and those who own them seem quite happy. That's good enough for me. We may be taking a closer look at this one soon, but you can check it out today. It looks to be a swashbuckling sea adventure. <laughs> On the lighter side of things is Cutthroat Captains, a more family-oriented pirate game with a very clever announcement video. It looks like it could be great fun, and I'm told that if you don't back it, a baby kraken will be violently relieved of a tentacle. Some pirates are just mean, you know? For all you role players out there, they're Seas of Odari, a large tome full of useful information and beautiful artwork for running your pirate campaign. I haven't RPG'd much, but if I did, yeah, I'd be a pirate. And for those of you who've enjoyed Valeria Card Kingdoms, you'll be pleased to hear, if you haven't heard already, that there's an expansion funding right now called Crimson Seas. And it's full of nautical naughties, such as harpies, were sharks, goblin pirates, orc raiders, and other things that aren't very nice. But they say that Smooth Seas never made a skilled sailor, so challenge accepted. Now, if you're looking for something simpler, consider the Buccaneers playing card. We all need a standard 52 deck of cards from time to time, and one with classy and piratey artwork is a plus. You can finally replace that old Pirates of the Caribbean one you got from Disneyland 12 years ago. You know, the one that all your friends broke with all their riffle shuffling. There are also a few accessories that caught me eye. Things to spruce up your game and add flair to your table. For instance, the character coin tokens from Dice Dungeons, designed for RPG use but methinks you could come up with many uses for booty such as this. These coins represent character classes and are meant to be used as game pieces during your campaign. And there's 12 in total. That could really fill a pocket. Then there's also these delightful tabletop tiles by Wormwood Gaming that appear to be all-purpose trays and token holders. They're magnetic, they're modular, they're guaranteed to impress your gamer friends. Unless you play solo. Then I guess you could just feed the cat out of them or something. Fluffy would like that. Well, there's many more to discover. These be but just a few that jumped out at us and seemed pirate compatible. There's also a few games coming soon to Kickstarter, or so I'm told, such as Captains and Curses, Shiver Me Timbers. Don't Flip a Ninja could be interesting. And I do believe Arca Parada will be listing again soon. If you missed our review, I'll tell ya. We loved it. Here's hoping it does well. Well, that's it for me on this Pirate's Parlay. Thanks to all for stopping in. Now get out there and support some creators. The only thing that'll bring down corporate sameness are the visions of the artists. So kick in a buck or go all in. And while I'm on the subject, you can become a patron of Pirate's Parlay on Patreon and help to keep us bringing you the pirate side of games. Lend a hand and help to keep the lights on. In fact, if you've enjoyed Mrs. Bottlescotch's presence of late, partnering with us is the best way to get her back on board. Because if you don't, you'll be stuck with this ugly mug. Think about it.